Hi, my name is Kimberly Dominici and my Flow Hive is in Myersville, Maryland. We started beekeeping in May of this year, so a whole two months now. My husband, Mark, has been talking about beekeeping for years. He saw the advertisements and everything for Flow and got even more excited. And I was on board, thought it was really neat. We moved here two years ago, so last year was our first year gardening, growing our own vegetables. He planted 50 to 60 fruit trees, and then we had not a lot of pollinators. And we were like, well, it's time to look seriously into beekeeping. Kids love honey, we need pollinators, so let's see if we can make a go of this. So over the winter, we started getting more serious, and so we set up the hive this past May. Well, we're trying to do more of the organic gardening and the general beekeeping practices of tearing their homes apart in order for us to harvest the honey seem just very disruptive to them. So Flo definitely was our push to actually go into beekeeping. I don't know that we would have otherwise. Chasing little ones and time and everything are in short supply around here. So the Flow Hive enables us to enjoy the bees without the harm to them and monopolizing the time when we need to harvest. I didn't quite buy into all the organic and the different food movements. You know, it's all well and good, but we gotta be able to afford to feed our family. And it seemed kind of like a luxury. As we've more grown our own and then added the bees, it's like, no, it's not a luxury, it's a necessity. Zucchini are doing much better this year with the bees. Last year I had four plants and got one zucchini. This year we have six plants and so far like eight zucchini at the very beginning of the season. So the bees seem to be doing a great job there. Mark needed to mow this last week so that the yard could look presentable. And then it's like, but the dandelions will be coming soon. So we've got to watch the yard and let it just go. You know, don't mow the hill because then you're going to take all the clover and then we won't know when the dandelions are coming out and those other small weeds that are so important. The kids love them. They'll wander up there barefooted. And <laughs> so far, only Mark and I have been stung, so they keep begging to be the extra person that gets to suit up and go up there and help us open the hive. Only our oldest has so far, but they love them. How cool was that? We've got lots of sweet stories coming up each week, so if you want to be up to date, hit the subscribe button below.